Well, it's about that time of year, everybody. Travis and I are about to load up the Gator with fencing supplies, and we are going to go run the fences out at my place. Now, the Klein pasture, which is the pasture that we're gonna go out to, is usually the pasture that we dump dad's cattle into in the spring, and they stay in there throughout the summer. And I usually let mine go from the buildings and into the big pasture, which halfway through the summer when dad's cattle start to roll, run low on the grass out there, usually we'll let them, out, let them intermingle and let dad's cattle into the big pasture. So we have to take the gator out and we are going to check for any trees that may be on the fences, check the floodgates to make sure that we didn't have any floodgates that were blown out by the flooding earlier this spring. And I know that at least one of the floodgates needs something done to it. So we're just gonna head out there and start checking the fences because uh, with planning coming up, this kind of is our golden opportunity to start checking the fences before we really get busy. So let's load the gator up and let's get moving. Yeah, go look at the glove compartment. Yeah, I the glove compartment. Oh, did you? That was quick. Run row per section. Yep. That's the cable we needed. Ooh. Wow, that's oh, quite a bit. Yeah. No. <laughs> Yeah, it goes back underneath. Looks like a war zone. I've never been back here before in my life. At least in this section. Oh, well, this has a deep hole. There's another one over in that direction. Probably just as deep, if not a little bit deeper. So I am currently walking this stretch of fence because the gator can't get back in here. So we just walked over by a hole that is a remnant of the old mining area. I've said it a few times before, but around here they used to mine a lot of, of lead and then later on, I think it was zinc, that they converted the mines to and they're just kind of scattered all over the place. They're literally everywhere. <laughs> um, I think the only place where we don't have the whole sinkhole issue is Rockville. So it's just kind of cool seeing a hole like that that's that big because you don't see too many of them where they've sunk in that deep. And I know there's a, at least one more that's just as big. And uh, I don't know, it just kind of serves to remind you how big those caverns are that are underneath your feet. So I gotta walk through the brush. I would love to get back in here with a mower this year. There's a locust tree. Check out those needles. Yeah, always stay away from these things with your tires because a lot of times we do get flat tires because of these things. You can definitely see through the pasture pretty well. Once all the greenery comes through, you really can't see out in there. Well, here's our first broken wire. brought a bag of clamps.
Well, that should be about it for checking fence on this farm. Uh, the only real thing that we got to do yet is check the floodgate down here, or do something about it, I should say. And um, I think all it really needs down there is a, is a wire panel to keep the cattle from going into the neighbor's pasture, which they love to do. But uh, yeah, this farm is pretty well done. So that's about it for this video. Thank you all for watching. Be sure to check out all of our other videos. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and be sure to tell all of your family and friends about how farms work if you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, guys.